episode. I'm so oh, offended. I'm so sorry. It's such a good episode. I'm sorry I couldn't make it. I remember that one. Yeah. It's the one yeah. where yeah. that one guy yeah. talks to that one girl, and then like that one dude does sure? that other I thing with that food, and the guy in the toilet with the other one. You don't know what I'm talking no, about. I don't. You can't yeah. believe you don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like I know. Good morning, class. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now, today we're going to continue on from yesterday's lecture. Um, does anyone happen to know what we covered yesterday? Certainly. Okay, I wrote exactly what you said. Yes. In conclusion, we can see that there is a ginormous difference in energy investment per gamete between males and females. Very good, sir. That's exactly what I said. Wow. You wrote something else, too. Uh, well, yes. uh, as we can see in tomorrow's lecture, there are profound repercussions of the smacked on human made behaviors. And no, Duke, you're quite right. I did also say that. And so we've been... Gabby? What? Uh, Betty? And you also said class dismissed. That's right, Betty. Thank you very much for that. Eves? I don't get it. So how exactly does DNA make someone, like, express something? Well... Let me try to explain it to you this way. Let's think about the differences of numbers, okay? The average male ejaculate contains enough sperm to almost repopulate the United States. But a female of our species only makes one egg a month. So there's a huge difference. Sperm are cheap and involve supply and demand. Sperm almost nothing, whereas eggs are incredibly valuable. So females want to be careful with their eggs, but males don't want to be careful with their sperm because there's so much of it they can afford to just be wasteful. Does that make sense? I think so. Let me try it a different way. Thank you. 
I get it now. 